Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black from No Export For You, and welcome to part 12 of my blind let's play of the Fu Kan no Grasesta trial. This time we're going to be exploring a new town and watching more cutscenes, so let's see. Uh, that completes my report. Malvin Ardla. Commander Mar Marvin Ardla. Well, whatever. <sighs> he looks pretty important. So, the night of the Talfin Alliance. Dauphina here. Apparently came to the Interceptor City Gracesta after a good long absence and gave an extended detail an extended details survey of what she had done. Good job. Since you were able to win against the Belgarad Kingdom so magnificently, you were able to complete the request properly. Hmm, yes, but more than anticipated, there were losses. As though praying to the after, to praying for fortune in the afterlife, Adla heavily closes his eyes. That that Zeus was defeated. It's a little hard to believe. It seems like. Somebody with some good capabilities was off in Belgarad. If Zeus hadn't bought us time, the outcome might have been different. Hmm. So the two of them think of the valiant soldier who died. しかし、お重兵を大量に運んできたのは助かった。これでグラセスタの兵力も少しは充実するだろう。訓練を積んだ兵の入手は大きな成果となる。But the captured soldiers bringing so many here, that's a big help. With this, the Grasestas well, soldier power, for a little while at least, will be sufficient. It seems like you also got some pretty well experienced ones. It seems the Intergru Interceptor Society also wants to offer their thanks to you. Is there anything you hope that you'd be rewarded with? Yes, in fact there is. There's one something we'd like to talk about. A certain mercenary who defeated Zeus. I'd like to deploy him. In our Indigo Hawk Knights, I heard he was a mercenary. Where did he come from? Probably from Belgarad Kingdom. 
the way he carries his body and his characteristics. Also, those tattoos, those symbols. So looking at Delphina's cool face. Hmm. You know you're asking something unreasonable, don't you? Yes. And for that reason, I want to receive permission from you, Commander. Why do you want that mercenary? In order to deployment this time, due to our losses, there is a uneasiness in the ranks. Our individual morale, she wants something as a kind of trump card to keep our courage up. You want to get somebody who can fulfill the role that Zeus had. That's how it is. Dalfia, I understand your desire to get under your command the strongest soldiers, but the enemy is the enemy. I can't give my permission that easily. Furthermore, you personally are the Fishnail House's um, Harris. And having taken that upon yourself, you can't make too many unreasonable requests. Very well, as the heiress, how about I make my own decision here? He is somebody that I need for the growth of my battalion. Is he really that good? Yes, if we raise him upright, he'll be a great knight for the Tilfion Alliance. Hmm. Well, that's not a bad choice, but it seems a little too easy. Anyway. Looks like she's really going to be trying to push this through. And Adla, all the guy, starts thinking about the honor and glory that she's earned in this and the reward that she wants. So, don't get too hasty with picking your underlings here. Just because he won in battle, it doesn't mean he's... Oh, and also, because you lost the wound of losing this trusted vice commander, must be deep. Even more than being a mercenary, he was originally on the enemy side. If you take him in, 
your other underlings, you know how they would react. Yes. Well, if you understand, then fine. In this regard, I'll leave it to you. But keep me keep de- yeah. keep me well informed as to the developments here. I am grateful. Your decision will certainly redound to the benefit of the Telfion Alliance. Hmm, okay. And with a little bow, Dalfia leaves. Adler gives a little sigh. <laughs> well, he's drawn the eye of Delph- Delphina Feshnail. That mercenary has the worst luck. Even more than earning her grudge, having her like you is a horrible fate. Ah, <laughs> this is hilarious. <sighs> hmm, this is the assault town, huh? There are many fighters here, and... <laughs> yeah. In various ways, it does resemble my hometown. You there, the slave sword. By the look of you, you've only recently come to Grasesta, right? Yeah, I have. What about it? Then I'll explain to you the particulars of this region. It's what we do for you new guys. Think of it that way. Okay, this is the assault town. This is where the free, uh, the free people get to reside. And if you go up the slope that way, it's where the Sleeping Lotus Town is. It's a merchant area. And if you continue in that direction, it's the slope of knowledge. Into that region, you as you are aren't allowed. Remember that. So, in the assault town, the slaves are allowed to walk freely. It's a pretty lax city. Don't get the wrong impression, slave sword. According to the rules, you have a certain amount of free movement, but that's so that you can fulfill your role of defeating monsters. A bit of freedom is good for your health, and it makes you more effective. Kisamara 
ゆえに死罪になることはほとんどないしかし死なない程度の体罰は許されている<笑> New slave swords are to the interceptor group a valuable resource for that reason we won't put you to death mostly but if you don't die we are allowed to administer corporeal punishment せいぜい気をつけることだもめ事を起こせば身分の低い側が必ずと言っていいほど悪になるのだからな So, watch yourself If you do it, try and pull anything hmm. Yeah, bad things will happen to you Ah, thanks for the warning, I'll remember I can't. I have to fight. Chase it. Hmm. Oh, that's a puppy. This is a... Come here, you! Yeah. <laughs> I got a black cat. Isn't that awesome? I got a black cat. Uh, it seems like it'll, it'll be necessary at some point. Um, for the moment, let's take care of it. Are you kidding me? Well, no, obviously you're not kidding me. It's not in this inventory, so it must be in a different part of the inventory. Where did they say the important items were? Oh, looks like uh, the fox girl. I love fox girls, I'm gonna go talk to her. Ah, important items. Black cat. <laughs> okay. I'm happy about this. <sighs> okay. Whoops. This must be the place. So, coming out here to the western region, we hear a metallic hammer sound striking. Hmm. So, is there a blacksmith here? Nearby? Either this has drawn our interest, so we head for the blacksmithing sounds. And we head to a place, head into a building that seems like the proper kind of construction. What? What, what? And without any warning, A chunk of steel flies at me. In an instant, in a snap decision, we ready our weapon and by the skin of our teeth, we were able to knock it off. But I thought it was an enemy. And I was prepared for another attack, but nothing happens. So, slowly going in, it does look like a place where blacksmithing occurs. The fire in the fireplace. Ah, uh, sorry. Are you okay? You don't have any injuries? This is why I love fox girls. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, that was dangerous. One of my precious customers almost got killed. Ha, huh. this is good. It's a good thing we survived. Yeah, I like it too. Not dying at all. And she's pretty small, but... She's well built. One of these... Beastmen tribe. Yep, the ears make her a beast, man. Works for me.
And it does look like she's got the proper muscular for sure for what she's doing. Yeah, the way she talks is so funny. And by the way, by what she was saying, that means she runs this little workshop. Uh, what are you doing? I'm working, of course. This is one of my great works. A wrench hammer. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. That dumbass Savaro used a wrench hammer. Ah, she's in the middle of working on this. Yeah, but still, it sometimes explodes, this thing. Yeah, sometimes exploding is definitely inconvenient. To all agrees. Hmm, you got an interesting expression on your face. Ah, it's the way I talk, isn't it? It's my characteristic. It's my characteristic. Hmm, well, I'd like to translate how she's talking, but like she said, it's an individual characteristic. She is talking really fucking weird. It's hilarious, but it's weird. But no. If you're going to make a weapon that is prone to exploding, you should be more careful. Ah, uh, yeah. Sorry. The Fox Girls are always the best. I'm saying it again. So aside from what she's saying, we turn away from her and have a look at the full workshop. Here and there we've got weapons lined up for sale, clearly. Perhaps not simply the way she talks, but also her sense could be weird. They all seem to be unusual weapons. And pretty difficult to make, too. Well, as much as she's proud of the weapons she's made, it doesn't really feel like they're things that she's really good at selling. Uh, sorry for bursting in. Oh, wait, don't go. <laughs> you, what's your name? Jedal. Jedal. いい体つきしてるわ。一目で一流の戦士だってわかる。だからうちの店の武器買って試してみてくれへんかな。じゃあ、<笑> you got a pretty good body to you. I can tell in one look you are a first-rate warrior. So, why don't you buy one of my weapons? Buy it. Try it out. I have no intention of buying a weapon that might explode. Later. Ah, don't be like that. This is especially me. These are specially made weapons by uh, Rosalind Fefnir. Fefnir. Rosalind. She's not just a dwarf. She's a dwarf? I thought you were a beast man. Anyway. So, along with a high level alchemical techniques. There are also magic techniques working into this. This is high dwarf works here. 
Don't you think you can expect more out of them? A dwarf, huh? So, those ears are just accessories? Ornaments? That's right. If you thought I was a beastman, you're totally wrong. Ah. Uh, ah, she's not a fox girl at all. Mm, well, she's still cute, so... I'll forgive you. This time. So I'm kinda on you, you gotta buy this stuff. Take a look. You can uh, make a judgment of this and it won't be too late. Right? Hey, come on. Jeez. Uh, Alright, I'll take a look at your goods. <laughs> Alright, understood. These are big value, but I'll give them to you cheap. Eh. Huh? Oh, sorry. Up there in the corner. Hafer. But there's an N sound in the pronunciation. You can see it. Ne. Right there. Ne. But there's no ends. What the hell? Hmm. No. Nope. Okay. A tutorial. Oops. I have to skip another tutorial. Looks like uh, expert opinion is something we don't get in the demo. Hmm, regular stuff. Oh, another tutorial. Oops. God, how stubborn. Hmm. Well, I can't buy anything useful, probably. Bravaga. Weird. Mm. Oh, whatever. The black cat's back. Hey. And a calico cat. Now, maybe we'll find some use for this. For the moment, let's take care of it. Was there another pet wandering around down there? Hey. Are you kidding me? I can't walk between these buildings. Hmm? What? A dwarf man. Hey, you. Won't you listen to my request? I'm in a hurry. Huh. I'll give you a reward. Now, let's hear what you got to say. Depending on the trouble, I might do it. I want you to deliver these packages. It's easy, you know? Uh, yes. But, in any case, you could ask anybody for that. Uh, but... There are other places I need to take it. Huh? And furthermore, there's a time set for it. This has got to be a good thing. So, I'm leaving this to you. Uh, 
So, do we want to deliver this to the entrance of the church? I don't even know where the church is. Well, hell. I've got 24 seconds. 24 seconds? I don't know where the church is. Okay, I got... Are you... Wait. I can't get out. Can I? Hey. Okay. That's... Nope. Not that way. Uh-huh. So... Hey, look. A church. Hey, you made it in the time limit. Ah, uh, thanks a bunch. This is my promised reward. Do accept it. Oh. Goddess drop. Those are full recovery, if I recall. Huh? Oh, nope. It's uh, purification. Meaning it relieves status effects. Various vegetables for sale. Oh, whatever. Hmm. So, there are four trick ne trickster nickels at uh, cats in this in this assault town here. They steal from the shops, so take care. Oh, there's four, are there? Hey, dog. Why don't you catch any of these trickster cats? And I only saw... I've only seen two so far. And this time the black cat isn't appear... Nope, there he is. Oh, since I caught him again, I get that item. It's another metal scrap. I mean, trapped here, right here. But I wonder where the other two cats would be. If they say there's four, there's gotta be four, right? Mm, can't interact with the church. Uh, perhaps this part is also considered part of the assault village. Hmm. So, blue-haired cell sales hand. Uh huh. This is troublesome. What's wrong? I'm trying to sell things, but. It's getting hard to sell like this. I, don't know. I wonder why. I think it's because your shop front has been shat on by birds. Ah, that's true. It seems there are a lot of crows that are merely. That's a lot of them. Maybe, maybe that's a kanji for pigeons. I don't know all the different kanji for, you know, birds or trees or things. Now, anyway, that is a ton of pigeons. Hmm. Okay, so we understand what the problem is, but it's still trolling some. What can I do? Hmm. Will you really help? That's a big help. But how? The number one way to keep pigeons from hanging around because you can't, you know, keep chasing them away. We got to pick an and we've got to pick a useful animal to, to take care of it for us. Animal? Ooh, I already caught two of them. That's awesome. Because in this vicinity there are many cats, 
if you take in some cats then and feed them, they should be able to take care of this. Yep, there's a quest. So we've seen four cats in the assault town. So we catch them all, we might be able to use them for these pigeons. Oh, won't you help me? Oh yeah, sure. Oh, 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 oh! This looks just like, um, the brothels in Madol Kokaku. This is a different owner. Well, you're a new face. Have you brought along a... brought along a female slave? Or perhaps... a succubus that you caught? とりあえず、キリオと状態を見せておくれ。病気持ちかどうかも調べさせてもらうよ。so I'll pull them out and I'll assess them, depending on their health. I'll need to assess their health to see how much I can pay. Apparently she's got the impression that we're here to sell her... Um, well, this is a brothel. So. Well, that's how it goes, I guess. So she's wearing clothes that bring out the lines of her body. And she smokes that thing there. Uh, you seem to have the wrong idea here. I'm just peeping into your shop. Hmm, is that so? Even though it's the first time I've seen you come in here quite calmly. So, I thought you'd be here for sales. Taking a look at how your shop's set up. This is a brothel, isn't it? Ah, so da yo. Atai wa luchida. Kono eifkuro no onna shujin de tokoro sane. Mmm, so that's right. This is Ruchitra. 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 This, uh, she takes care of this, uh, full flower garden. Full happiness flowers. It's, it's the name of the brothel. Enfukuro. Hey, I can say it that way. It's easy. It's not quite the same quality as you'll find on the other side of the gate, but... They're pretty good girls here. Would you like one tonight? Uh, sorry, but... I'm a slave, you see. I don't have the kind of guild points it would cost. That's unexpected. You've got a powerful feel to you, and you're still just a slave sword. Anyway, that doesn't matter. If you've got the guild points that you need, your status is not related. Yeah. For having slaves and such, they're pretty... Nepo... Uh, Nepo... Nepolitan. Neo... Metropolitan. No, that's not the word either. Hmm, Neapolitan? 
Okay. So many people are just willing to overlook what your status is around here. So, even a slave can take advantage of this brothel. Uh, something bothers me about what you first said. So there are other ways than to come here as a customer. Ah, Yes, if you bring in new girls. If you think you can bring in new girls. If you bring them along, I'll have a see and see if I can make use of them. Even though I'm a new face and a slave, you can feel all right dealing with me like that, huh? <laughs> Well, when you're in a business like this, you naturally get good at judging people by their looks. Yeah, and the way I see it, you've got pretty good skills. Whether you're a customer or a supplier, I'm willing to welcome you here. So then, how about you give me your name? It looks like we'll be, have a long acquaintanceship. Jedal. Jedal Svalka. Alright, Jedal. If it's acquaintances. Whether it's acquaintances or close friends, if there's somebody that you don't have confidence in their fighting, bring them along. I'll be able to buy them. At the very least, it's safer than doing business in the Port of Black. And the possibility of getting out of this great sealed land is much higher. And in this violent war, land of violent warriors, a girl's, a woman's job is not lost, you know. Heh. <laughs> okay. What's this? Somebody's here? Oh, there's an assault guy. Yeah. Some assault guy uh, called out to me or something. You've got to bust down these, um, what's them? You've got to bust down all these uh, boxes and stuff. I've been shut in here. I can't get out. Ah. So apparently, please save me. You've got to save me. Bust up these boxes so I can get out. Uh, hey. Well, I don't have the power skill either.
Oh, it's uh, her. Maruchi? Can't go here, right? Okay, haven't seen you. You're a slave, aren't you? Yeah. That, so, you can't go any further. Turn back. <laughs> so, with my status, I can't go any further. Yep, we've been over that. Now, where would the other cats be? Oh, that's an updraft skill thing. By the look of it, the updraft skill or airflow skill. Hmm? Mm hmm. Black cat, calico cat, and the dog. But I don't see any more cats. Hmm? Okay, the calico goes in there and comes out over there every so often. Eh, well. <clears throat> I guess I'm done here. Alright, today we learned that Delphi has some kind of obsession with Jadal, which I suppose we already knew to some degree. And we met a dwarf who wears fox ears, which is totally false advertisement, and I demanded! Oh wait, I don't get a refund. Anyway, it's still false advertising. We also found a brothel and captured a couple of cats. I wonder where the other two are. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.